I have a huge book haul to share. These are all the books that I've acquired in November and December. Hi, my name is Jeanette and I want to thank you for joining me on the channel Jane Reads. So I have a huge book haul to share. I've got two boxes from Book Outlet and I've already taken some out of the box. And then I have some from a library sale and from a thrift store. And so this is probably my biggest book haul yet. I don't know, I did a very big one at the very beginning of my channel, but this is probably pretty close to probably my biggest, if not my biggest. So I'm gonna put this book down, this box down first because I wanna go through some of these books because I, I wanna show them in the order that I pick them up, if I can. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with the library sale. So I found two books at the library sale. First one I found is Kidnapped by Dee Henderson. This is an older book, as you can kind of tell. It is a retitled book. It was book four originally of the Uncommon Hero series and then kind of re-released as Kidnapped. I cannot think of what the original title was, but it is the one D. Henderson book that I don't have from her older collection. So I was like, okay, I'm going to pick that one up. Then the other book that I found was The Magnolia, Play Magnolia Place by Fionn Davis. I don't know anything about this book, but I saw it. The cover's really pretty and it's in really good condition, like pretty much brand new. And I have seen a lot of people talk about this book, so I thought, well, let's give it a try. This was definitely a cover pickup. And I say library sale, but they were really free because it was a library swap. You donate a couple books, you take a couple books. So I couldn't pass it up. Then we went thrift store shopping. Well, we went Christian book. We went to a Christian bookstore. Then we went thrift store shopping. And I picked up Lady in Attendance by Rachel Fordham at the Christian Bookstore. And I had just finished reading The Letter Tree by Rachel Fordham. And then I saw this one. I've heard really good things about it. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to get that one. And it was on the discount rack. So I picked up that one. And then I also picked up, yes, this is the other one I picked up at the bookstore, was Far Side of the Sea by Kate Breslin. These are both historical fiction. You kind of notice the theme for most of these books, I think. And I had read High as the Heavens by Kate Breslin earlier this year. I think it was this year. And I really enjoyed it. So I thought, let's try some more of her books. So this is the other one I got. I'm going to go through these fairly quickly because I have so many books. <laughs> then at the thrift store, I found For Such a Time as This by Kate Breslin. I also saw this one at the thrift store, which I just bought brand new. But I mean, I got it brand new, whereas this one's used. So that's okay, I'm fine. And so I picked up another Kate Breslin book. Then I also found Together Forever by Judy Hedlund and this one is book two of the Orphan Train series, but I had been recommended book one, which With You Always is book one of this series because they said like No Ocean Too Wide by Carrie Taransky is one of my favorite books. They said if you like that book, you will like this book, not this, the, the book one of this series. And so when I saw book two, I'm like, okay, well, let's try it and I'll get my hands on book one. Then I went to another library sale and they had Last Light by Terry Blackstock, Night Light by Terry Blackstock, and True Light by Terry Blackstock. So this is books one, two, and three of her, what's it called? Restoration series. So I'm only missing book four. So eventually I will get my hands on book four. But this is one of the only series by Terry Blackstock I have never read. It is not kind of her typical romantic suspense. From what I understand, it's similar to 
I have just lost the name of the series. The Left Behind series. Um, it's kind of like, like along that kind of theme. And so I thought, well, let's give it a try. It's Terry Blackstock. Come on. Like, it can't be bad. So, yes, I so I have books one, two, and three now. I was so excited to see, like, almost the full series. Like, because I saw this one first. It was in one section, and then as I kept looking at the tables, then I found these two, and it was like, oh, okay. I went back and grabbed this one and got all three. So, yeah. Then I also found at that sale... Against All Odds and An Eye for an Eye by Irene Hannon. This is book one and book two of her Heroes of Quantico series. I have read this series before, but I I don't even know if I have it on my Kindle, actually. Um, this was the series that introduced me to Irene Hannon's writing. So it was like kind of a nostalgic thing. I want to reread this series. But they only had books one and two, so I'll get my hands on book three. Don't you worry. So, yes. And their blurb, or this one, is blurred by Dee Henderson. And so it's like, okay, let's go. And it says, I found someone who writes romantic suspense better than I do. I don't know about that, Dee Henderson, because you and Irene both write really good romantic suspense. But, yes. So those are the five books that I found at the books at the library sale. Okay, then the rest of these. No. <laughs> this one was given to me by my mom. Uh, Portrait of Vengeance by Carrie Stewart Parks. She read it and she really enjoyed it. She thinks I will enjoy it. And Carrie Stewart Parks is an author that I want to try. I've never read anything by her, but I've always been intrigued. So now I have a book to read by her. I mean, I actually picked up one earlier this year, but yes. So, okay. Then, for my birthday, I got Dear Mrs. Bird by A.J. Pierce. This is a World War II, I think it's World War II, yeah, 1940s Lundy. So it's a World War II set book, and one of my coworkers had just read it and really enjoyed it, so I got this one from her. And also for my birthday, I got A Life Once Dreamed by Rachel Fordham. This was gifted to me by the lovely subscriber Nicole. And I can't wait to read this one. It's another Rachel Fordham book. <laughs> then I got um, Experiencing God's Peace based on Philippians by Elizabeth George. This is a Bible study book and I've been working my way through a few of them. And this is one that I didn't own and I saw it on clearance. So I picked it up. Okay, now the rest of these books are from Book Outlet. Um, I ordered for my birthday and for Christmas and then just some other books that I ordered. <laughs> so, okay, let's start with the book outlet error. <laughs> I received this one, which is To Kill a Mockingbird in Latin. And I was like, oh, when I first opened the box and was going through to check the order, it was like, oh, to kill a I didn't order to kill a mockingbird. I'm like, okay, well, I remember reading this in high school, and it was always one that I kind of wanted to reread. And I thought, okay, well, I guess it's time to reread it. And then I'm flipping through the pages, and I'm like, um, this is not in English. And then I looked at the cover a little bit more, and it was translated into Latin. And it was like, oh, um, yeah. So I text my best friend. A picture and said I guess I need to learn a new language <laughs> and so I did reach out to book outlet about this error and I got a credit for the book that I did not receive by mistake but they said well you can keep that book you don't have to return it you don't have to go through the hassle of returning it and I was like jokingly like yeah because they couldn't get rid of Aladdin book <laughs> but yeah so my husband thinks I should keep it on my shelves as a uh, just a conversation piece. We'll see what I decide to do with it. So, yeah. Do you want a Latin book of To Kill a Mockingbird? Okay. Then I picked up Relative Justice by Robert Whitlow. I recently read this one and really enjoyed it, so I wanted the physical book for my shelf. And same thing, I got I'll Be Seeing You by Robin Lee Hatcher. 
Again, I really enjoyed this one. I read this one this year. I loved it. So I wanted the physical book for my shelf. Same thing. Trial and Error by Robert Whitlow. Read it recently. Loved it. Wanted the physical book for my shelf. Then Terry Blackstock, Downfall. This is book three. I want to say book three. Why do they not put numbers on the spine? Such a... I'm pretty sure. Yes, it's book three of the Intervention series. And they, I have books one and two of the series. So I'd be keeping an eye out to get this one to add to my shelves. Okay, then another Terry Blackstock, True Stain Lies. So I have this one. I have this one in this size. But all my other books are in this size. So when I saw this one, I was like, okay, I'm going to pick it up to replace this one. So I'm going to be unhauling this one and putting this one in its place. This is book one of the Moonlighter series. Yes, Moonlighter series. And it is on my list to reread this year. I don't know if I'm going to get to it because it's already like mid-December when I'm filming this. So we'll see what happens. So. Okay, then I got Ridden on the Wind by Elizabeth Camden. This is book two of her Blackstone Legacy series. And I have book one and book three. So I needed book two to complete that series. And then I picked up The Secrets of Paper and Ink by Lindsay Harrell. This one I have read before and I really enjoyed the story, but I had an advanced reader copy when I read it. So I want to own it and reread it. So that is why I got that one. Now to the box. Okay, so we got In Harm's Way by Irene Hannon. This is book three of the Heroes of Quantico series that I just picked up. It does not match. I can't see where I put them. So book one and book two, book three. It does not match because this is the new cover. These are the old covers, but I don't care because they're gonna sit on my shelf like this anyways, right? So yeah, a little bit, but that's fine. So now it's a complete set. Then I got The Edge of Belonging by Amanda Cox. I really enjoyed her Secret Keepers of Old Depot Grocery and have had this one on my list to read. So when I saw it there, I picked it up. So I want to read more by her. Then I got To Disguise the Truth by Jen Trano. This is book number two of the series. Again, you know, the typical complaint is book number three of the series. So I own book one and two of the series. So this is completing a series for me. Then I got Yours Truly Thomas by Rachel Fordham. As soon as I read the back of this one, which I will read to you, dead letters are a reality for clerks at the dead letter office. And she dreams of something more, a bit of intrigue, perhaps a taste of romance. When she comes across a letter from a broken hearted man to his one true love, it becomes her mission to place this lost letter into the hands of his intended re recipient. And as soon as I read that it was about a dead letter office and finding a letter in the dead letter office, I was like, oh, I need to add that to my list because I love letters to begin with. And then there is a movie or a movie series and had a TV show um, that was set around a dead letter office. Why can I not think of the name of the show right now? I'm like, I just added the DVD to my wish list too. Signed, Sealed and Delivered. It is, so it's a movie series and then there was one season for it where you're following members, like employees of a dead letter office and I absolutely loved that show and the movies. And I've watched it a couple times through and I really want the DVD to watch so that I own it and can watch it whenever because you can't always find it on channels, right? So yeah, so as soon as I saw this one, I was like, okay, I need to read this one. This is totally up my alley. So we'll see. 
And another Rachel Fordham was Where the Road Bends. I just, I'm really on a Rachel Fordham kick when I place this order. <laughs> so yeah, I love The Letter Tree, so I had to read all her books now. <laughs> the Hope of Azir Springs, Rachel Fordham. I think I now own all her books that are being published. To Right or Wrong by Jan Tr Trano. This is, I want to say book two, yes, this is book two of the series. So that's book one, or book three, book two, and I already own book one. Then we got As Dawn Breaks by Kate Breslin. As I said, really going on a theme here. <laughs> Fairs of the Heart by Karen Whitmire. This is book one of her Texas Ever After series. Book two comes out in the, early in the new year, like February, March, maybe March, I think March. So book one, I'll get my hands on book two and I can read that one. The Land Beneath Us by Sarah Sundin. This is, I want to say book three, yes, of her series. I do not own book one and two, but I've heard really good things about this series. And it's Sarah Sundin, so I had to get it. With You Always by Judy Hedlund. So this is book one of that Orphan Train series that I was talking about, I have book two. So I picked up book two at the thrift store. Then I saw book one on Book Outlet. I had to get it. And this is the one that was recommended to me because it deals with orphans. And I wanna say maybe the British, yeah, it doesn't say on the back here. One of the many immigrants struggling to survive in the 1850s New York Elise Newman knows she must take action to care for her younger sisters. She finds a glimmer of hope when the New York Children's Aid Society starts sending skilled workers to towns out west. But the promise of the society's orphan trains is not all that it seems. So it sounds very similar to the No Ocean Too Wide that I absolutely loved. So, yeah. And the very last book. And I just broke the box. <laughs> The very last book is Windswept Way by Irene Hannon. This is book number nine of the Hope Harbor series. It just came out last spring and I have books one to eight of the series so I had to finish the series. Not that the series is finished because book 10 comes out this coming spring. So yeah. Okay so those are all the books that I got. I am not even going to try to hold them up but I will count them. Thirty-five books. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely my biggest book haul. Now, some of these I have already read, so they will just be going on to my read section. But a lot of them I have not read and will have to go on, fit on somewhere on my unread section. So, yeah, that is all my books, and that will be the last book haul for 2023. Yeah. <laughs> Very big way to end all. And as I said, I'm not even going to try to hold them up because I don't even know if I can get them in frame here. Like, <laughs> like they're in double stack there. I don't know how well, you, I don't know if you can even see that. Oh, there we go. There we go. Double stack. That is a lot of books. <laughs> I don't need to buy books for a while, but <laughs> I do have a gift card <laughs> to use for Book Outlet. So I am looking to see because if like more Sarah Sundin books come on there, add to cart. And there's a couple other books that I'm like hoping to get to complete series. So we'll see what happens. So that is my book haul for today. I have nothing else to share, I don't think. <laughs> I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.